thought about my dad. I've got some baseball cards in my closet at the house, and some of them are on my desk and just in different places. And I thought about my dad teaching me to throw a baseball and how to hit a baseball, and I thought about all the stuff that my dad did for me when I was a kid. And I, I've got a lot of cool memories and a lot of cool stuff that we did. But you know what I remember most about my dad? Is that he loved me. I mean, if the baseball cards are gone tomorrow, and I, I pick up a baseball and I forget how to hold it, and, you know, I get a bat and forget how to swing it, if I swing ten times and miss the ball all ten times, none of that matters. You know what matters is that my daddy loved me and that I know it. 1 John chapter 4, look at verse 7. It says, Dear friends, let us love one another. For love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God. Because God is love. This is how God showed His love among us. He sent His one and only Son into the world that we might live through Him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us, and His love is made complete in us. This is how we know that we live in Him, and He in us. He has given us of His Spirit. And we have seen and testified that the Father has sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them and they in God. And so we know and rely on the love that God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. This is how love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. Jesus.